guys, happy Friday. In today's video, I am going to be showing you my fireplace mantle up here and this little section off to the right of me. But before we get started, I want to give everybody a little FYI. Uh, yesterday, I had to go to Office Depot to get some stuff for work and right next door is Joanne Fabric. So I thought, well, let's see what they got out there. Outside, they have those cocoa liners, uh, a whole bunch of them for your hanging baskets and the ones that you would put like on your railing on your deck and I really needed to get some because I have three hanging baskets that are metal and you can see right through them so I needed new liners and so when I went there they said that all their stuff called in the garden is 70% off I'm like okay that's great because look here I got three of these big huge cocoa liners they were regularly seven dollars and they were 70% off let me show you a couple more things I got. And these are things that you can, you're can you using right now. These are little shepherd hooks. They're not very big, but they have bigger ones that are, they are even uh, two-sided to use for hanging baskets. I'm gonna use these for little signs in my garden. I got four of these, and these were $5.99 regular price, 70% off. And the last thing I got, they still have a lot of cute stuff there the garden. They have a lot of cute uh, watering cans and little signs. They're all 70% off. This one right here, this is going to hang on one of my little shepherd's hooks that I showed you. And I'm going to put it out in my garden somewhere. Of course, it's not going to stay out there all the time because it will get wet, but just for fun every once in a while. This was $19.99 and 70% off. So I ended up getting the three cocoa liners, this sign, and the four shepherd hooks for $21. I mean, you can't beat that price. So I just suggest that if you've got a Joann's near you, go by and check out what they have because my store near me had tons of shepherd hooks and they had a lot of little garden signs, watering cans, even little figurines for your garden. And they're all 70% off for the brand in the garden. So just wanted to show everybody that really quick before I forgot about it because I mean, you need this stuff right now. This is stuff we're all using. So uh, I want to tell you about my inspiration real quick for my, uh, excuse me, I can't talk today, <laughs> my mantle up there. I showed these pillows uh, a while back and they're, I have two of them. I got them at American Furniture Warehouse and that is something that's just here in Colorado and they have some stores in Arizona. They were $12 a piece and I got two of them and they're on my love seat and I will be showing that later in another video, my whole family room here once I get the entertainment center done. But I'm using birds, flowers, and even some keys in my decor in here. So I'm doing more of a garden theme. I'm calling it uh, like birds and bees in the garden type thing. So let's uh, see what I've done up here. Okay guys, here is my fireplace mantle. As I said before, I'm doing a more of a garden theme in here and with that pillow showing you my inspiration. So I have like birds and bees going on up here. And let me get uh, the stepladder so I can get up higher here for you so you can see all the little details. Okay, so this is everything on here. I don't know if you can see it very well, but with these two little birdies, I have these keys, and I got these a while back at Hobby Lobby. And as you remember, my pillow that I showed has a bird on it, a key on it, and a flower. So that was my inspiration. So I have my birds, I have my flowers, and I have some keys up here. And uh, these things are just, uh, I really didn't have anything tall that matched. These are two candlesticks that I just set some a flower uh, pick behind. And I tapped the candlestick turned upside down though. I tried so many things with that candlestick, putting on there and nothing looked good. But I'm basically doing a brown uh, off-white theme here. And show this close up. This piece here, uh, the wood and the metal piece, I got at uh, Goodwill. 
couple weeks ago I think for about $15 and I had these little metal bees and I just attached them with some wire on there. I thought that looked really cute. Like I said, it's more of a garden theme, so it's my, my birds and bees theme that I'm doing. Okay. I really like this section. This is that uh, birdhouse that I got that I showed a while back. And I did fix the top and got it painted. And I actually did paint these birds. They were a gray color, and I just spray painted them with my oil uh, rub bronze spray paint. And of course I love sunflowers, so I had to put the sunflowers in. Okay, so down here we have Mr. Bunny and I have my little garden container that I put some more sunflowers in. Then we're going to pan over here. Of course there's a little bit of a glare. Let me see if I can shut the blinds here a little bit. There we go. Now, if everybody remembers, I got this bird cage uh, for like $22 at a place called American Furniture Warehouse. That's also where I got my pillows. And the pillows were $12 a piece. And so now over here, I have my bird since it's on the bird cage. And I have this little plaque here with my bee on it. And of course, my sunflowers. And I added in these uh, old bells. These are something that my mom had. I don't even know how old they are, but they have wood handles. And I thought they would tie in nicely. And of course, my sunflowers. So let's go over here to the trunk. Let me see if I can uh, shut these blinds a little bit more. Sun's coming up over here. This, I'm on the north east side. It might be a little dark here. Let me see if I can get some more light for this. Hold on just a second. Alright, so here's the trunk that I showed. I actually did. Each side has this stencil on it. And then the panels here have this stencil on it. And I just have a couple of uh, neutral colored pillows. Uh, I love plaid. So I'm going to add a little bit of uh, texture in here too with this throw. It's a little nubby throw. So I think this turned out really nice on this trunk. Uh, the thing with the trunk, I really wanted it to be more of an off-white. But what happened was it's it was a reddish stain on it. And every time I tried to put white on there, it just looked pink. So I had to put a beige on there. And then it did not bleed through anymore. I don't know what was going on. I had like three coats of white. It just kept looking pink. So I used some beige paint that I had used down in the basement and the pink did not come through. And then I just did a little bit of antiquing on it. And then I painted the other part of it dark brown. And it's, this, it's the same color as what I used on the stencil. So that's this corner right here. And I really like how this turned out. Like I said, I'm doing more of a garden, bee and bird theme on this section. And hopefully I can get my entertainment center done too. That might be a few weeks down the road. So let's head on over back to the fireplace area one more time.
I want to show everybody that this is where I think we're going to put the secretary hutch. I had a small table here before, if you remember. I'm probably, I think I'm going to revamp that a little bit. It's something that was my mother's too, the little table, but it can be revamped. It's kind of rickety and really beat up, so I think it will look nice once I get it done by my hall tree by the front door, so that will be another project. But I think, let me back up here a little bit, I think this will look okay in here. And like I said, I'm going to be painting it, and I have a couple ideas for it, which I'm not going to show you. It's going to be a surprise, but I did get a couple of pieces at Lowe's, and I'll just give you one little clue that it will be something with the upper section only that I'm going to be tweaking. Oh, of course, this pillow down here, I say, that's not going to stay there. It's going to go back over here on the love seat. And hopefully I can get a uh, little summer home tour going on here in the next couple weeks for, for next month, which I will show my whole main level of my house. Well, I hope that everybody enjoyed the video today. Um, like I said, I didn't get everything done in my family room, and I will be doing a video on the family room when I get it done and also once I get everything else done in the whole house here I'm gonna do a little more tweaking I got some things I got to put away I'm gonna do a whole house tour on my first level only and back here this is my study back behind here in the fireplace and it's kind of a catch-all right now so I gotta get that cleaned out so I can show everybody my uh, summer decor in here and I want to let everybody know that I'm gonna be uh, uploading a video on a lemon coffee bar that is a, a collaboration that I'm going to do with uh, Secondhand Tracy Ann, and that will go up on Sunday. So I will be doing that. And Monday, I'm not sure what the video is going to be. I'm going to try my hardest to get my pond going this weekend. It takes me about a whole day to get it drained and cleaned out and get the water back in. And get, we got to put the pump back in and make sure it's flowing good. Oh, and I wanted to uh, thank everybody for giving me information on my secretary hutch here. And uh, I'm probably not gonna be working on that this weekend, not sure. It's gonna take a while to do that. But uh, you know, when it comes to old furniture, I am just clueless. I, I really don't even know how to tell types of wood. Most of the time I can definitely tell oak. But when it comes to like cherry mahogany, that kind of stuff, um, I'm just not really not that good at it. Unless it actually has it on the tag, you know, when you're buying it. But uh, I would like to thank everybody for the information, and especially Wanda, you really helped me out on that, and I did some more research, and since I, I'm pretty sure, like you said, it is a reproduction from the 40s, because I don't have the claw feet on the back, they're just straight feet. And, oh, and I couldn't find anything on any of the drawers, I pulled everything out, there's nothing on the back, nothing on the inside, underneath the drawers, inside the drawers, on the back of the drawers, nothing. So pretty sure that it is just a reproduction, so... I have no problem uh, doing some painting on it. So uh, I'd like to wish everybody a very wonderful weekend, and I will see you all on Sunday. Bye for now.